Welcome to an episode of Crazy Town Gaming, where we are the boys inside your head. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Dynamite, the explosive one, and we are playing Wheel of Fortune. If I showed up to Wheel of Fortune, and they gave me a mother effing Wheel of Fortune shirt to wear, I'd throw it on the ground. Are you ready to solve? Right. Hoover, damn you, son of a bitch. Frick oh, button! I'm hitting it. Dude, I was tapping it fast as F. I don't believe it. Okay, click the button. Oh. Click it now. <laughs> he said GSM. <laughs> what the heck is Coover Jism? Whoa. <laughs> what is that? And then she said Vietnam. I'm sorry, I was insensitive. She said Hoover Nam. <laughs> what does that even mean? Playing on hard mode, dude. They, they threw. Special words. They threw. Ooh, food and drink. It's a long one. Creamy, hot, longitudinal coffee. <laughs> it's a long one. That's what she said. You taking D first, then? Uh, since, no. Since so a million dollars again? <gasps> I don't ever want to get a million dollars again now. Uh, let's take the... You know what? I feel confident about it. Let's take the S. Okay. There's an S in here. Couple S's, dude. Full yeah. S. It's was, it was, <laughs> full S. It right. full S to me. <laughs> I get to stick with the memes today, and I get to get a little a bunch of letters. So yeah, I feel good about that S. I feel good about that S too. What do you feel good about on this one? Uh, Just pick it, dude. Just don't pick you. <laughs> don't pick you. Thank you. There you go. A little bit of tea, dude. I'm not mad at that. Just a little tea, bro. There's not a lot of tea. It's low tea today. Low tea. The first word is now Satan. Satan's, <laughs> Satan's creamy coffee rub. That sounds actually delicious, John. It's with a hint of peppermint. Oh, we're gonna get the amazing kit if you get this right. Actually, I figure Satan. Okay, uh, let's go with N. I figure Satan was to make something flavored be flavored with like cinnamon. Really? Yeah. I think I, I felt like it would taste like something burnt. It would just add that like burnt, a hickory smoke. It would just add the burnt flavor to anything. Ooh, like a little hickory smoke. No, no, not like that. Mesquite? J no, just <laughs> just like it's just like you took some ash and dumped it in there. <laughs> Hellfire brimstone. Nobody's gonna buy this dish, Joe. I thought we were trying to make people it like... are intrigued by it having Satan in it. Yeah, well, okay. I mean, I guess just put a couple drops of human blood in there. Whoa. Just, just like now you're getting now you're getting gross. Just like virgin blood, <laughs> blood blood coffee. <laughs> Who wants uh, blood coffee? Your barista is uh, AIDS-free. <laughs> Promise. If Lil Nas X can do it with shoes, Jonas, I think we can do it. put blood on his shoes? You didn't know, you know hear about that? No, I'll the tell blood? you in a second. We get, a, we get your pick, and if we get it, we get a wild card. Is this me or yeah. is this you? it's you. I is this me? Let's go L. <clears throat> Unfortunately, oh, well, I guess great. we don't get that wild card. Great. Thanks. Anyways, what happened with this blood? Uh, this was a while ago, Jonas. Uh, Freaking Lil Nas X came out with a shoe, a Nike, specially made. They only made like 99 of them that had an actual drop of blood in the, uh, I think it was like in like the part where the air, like <laughs> like yeah. little air pocket in the back, or maybe it was like in the in the tongue of the shoe, but it yeah, had yeah. Like, a, like a drop of human blood in it. And apparently, like, the, the company that made the shoe, they made, like, an angel version of the shoe. Sold pretty well. The devil version of the shoe, which had a drop of blood, sold very well. Backed by Lil Nas X. And then Lil Nas X started this whole, like, kissing the devil thing. and Like, he, like, was making the, the, the devil, like, a man who's into men? Yeah, he was basically pulling the Marilyn Manson. And, uh, you know, it worked. He cut out a rib so he could give himself no, a jo No, no, Jonas. He plays with the whole f and the devil thing you know, oh, dude. You, know you know you know how how the creatives are it's mushrooms and gravy oh, that sauteed like, something sauteed shiitake mushrooms and gravy shit take i do love a nice shiitake oh, mushroom not gonna lie all right but so, it's not that. Let's see, sautéed, blank so, mushrooms and gravy, white mushrooms. No, white's not up there. Uh, take the M, oh, then. Take the M, yeah. Sautéed, mashed. No. Mossy. No, the S is already up there. Is this? Oh, we have to like get it, huh? Yeah. Sautéed. I don't know. 
I don't know. Yeah, spin Moist. it Moist. Moist. Hey, look, another chance here. All right, so we know what it is, right? Let's take the D, I guess. Just so we can guarantee that free oh, there play. You go. <laughs> guarantee that free play. Okay. Um, I almost want to say just buy a vow, but we got, we got another continent on the we in we our head. We can take the V. We can take the Y. Yeah. None of those are going to help with that second word. We need a con a vowel in that second word, and then we basically have it. So take take the short thing. I'll take a Y. That's fine. It doesn't really matter. And then let's just buy buy a vowel or two. Which one do you want? Uh, let's buy the I. Yes, we have mixed, sautéed mixed mushrooms and gravy. There we go. How do you spell sautéed? Is it e e? Uh, by the e. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how to spell it. It's not f e. Sautéed, that, that that feels right. No, I think that's right. S a u t e e d. I don't know for sure though, so. But sure it looks like right. Probably you're good. I was a good guess here. That does look right because there's like a hyphen or something. But I wouldn't put that hyphen on here because it's not like a a hyphen in sautéed. Isn't it? Isn't sautéed have like e apostrophe e d? Saute. I think there's a umlaut. No, not an umlaut, but a, uh, what do you call that? Ampersand? No, no not an ampersand. Uh -oh. ding, ding. A tilde. There's a tilde above one of the E's. Tilde? That's in Spanish. There's not tilde in English. <laughs> Sauteed ain't an English word. It's not Spanish neither. <laughs> it's not, but tildes aren't strictly Spanish either. <laughs> It's <laughs> just the name of it. Dude, I swear it's just a hyphen. It's not a hyphen. Hyphens are the things that you debate after every... It's not it's an apostrophe. It's a little ding. <laughs> I don't care what it is. Yeah, it's definitely a T. It's definitely a tilde. Above the first E, too, mind you. <laughs> so it's saute. Saute. Yeah. yeah All right. I believe that saute is French. In... I think so, too. What letter are you taking there, friend? Uh, T. Yes, we have some T's. A lot of them, baby. Big T energy. Tasty. Tasted. Tasters. Places. Tasters. Um. Yeah, I don't know what that one is. Yeah. It does if, look like it's tasters or tasting or something. Tasting. She's yeah. mad that she sucks. <laughs> like, if it was like wine tasting, I'd be like, all right, but I don't, I honestly don't know. What letter did he pick? R. Listen here, Benjamin. Nobody cares about you picking your R's. Nope. All right. Why don't you sit down in the corner? Um. So, yeah, it's probably tasting. What are you going to pick there, big guy? That was brave. Yeah, it was rooms. Tasting rooms. <laughs> what? Something tasting rooms. <laughs> what? The hell is a tasting room? <laughs> that was that was brave. All right, fair enough. I'm a brave man, dude. <laughs> definitely definitely would have took some little safe for myself. <laughs> but it did work out for you. Yeah. I didn't, we still don't know what the hell it is. Yeah, yeah. But what what do you what's a ta I was thinking I've wine? never heard of a freaking tasting room, all right? I don't know what the hell this you're talking about. You came up with this tasting room stuff like it was something that we just talked about earlier. <laughs> oh, never dude, tasting happened. rooms, you know what I mean? The only tasting room I know is the kitchen, all right? That's where I taste stuff. <laughs> it's like kitchen tasting rooms. We have one e. Yeah, you got a letter, dummy. Like no, you don't want to solve. You don't know what that is. Shut up. Yes, some <coughs> Tasting wounds, indeed. I'm so freaking mad. You're like, M, what? That's, uh, what? 
Contestant number three, would you like to solve? No, you don't want to solve. You don't know what it is. So I'm going to take the N. We have one N. Okay, that's fine. Don't go and spend all that at once. I don't trust uh, me. Let's see here. I won't. One, would you like to solve? What do people taste? Dude, I've never heard of a tasting room. I really haven't either, but I knew it was that. Ratatouille? Um, pot roast. Nah, yeah, I was out of pot. I'm sorry, there are I can't stop board. thinking of pot roast. <laughs> I can't stop thinking of pot roast. <clears throat> corn dogs. Unfortunately, corn dog was a a corn dog tasting room. <clears throat> Wasn't that the guy Joe Biden talked about? Corn dog? Corn pop. Corn pop. Oh, no. This ain't good, man. One letter. I feel like we almost should have threw right there. Because um, one letter is going to give it. Boat. <laughs> Botox. A little boat room. Cheese tasting room. Or d'oeuvre? That's not how you spell hors d'oeuvres, dude. I'm glad because I honestly don't know how to spell hors d'oeuvre. Costa. Cheese. Poutine? Is it poutine? P O U T I N. Ah, oh, it ain't poutine, dude. What is poutine? <laughs> what is poutine? <laughs> Anything. We don't. What, what is Poo Tibby? <laughs> Poo Tibby, dude. She's like, what? It ain't Poo Tibby. <laughs> I love Poo Tibby. I'm always eating Poo Tibby. Still don't know. What I it still is. don't know. What it, yeah, I have no clue. Boutique. I'm freaking done, dude. This is what I'm talking about right here. What? I don't even know what that is. I know Google what idea. a boutique tasting room is. No. I'm curious. No. You want me to? Oh, you want me to look it up? Yeah, like Google it. I want to see what the hell it really is in real life. I've never heard of this thing, dude. This freaking affluent, freaking one percenter ass puzzle <laughs> bullcrap. Right. Karen would have got it. Boutiques near me, uh, dude. My Google history is crazy right now. Phrase. All right, here's a phrase. I need I you to pick the consonants. Oh my God. R S T L N N E. Let's see what kind of help you can get. <clears throat> Would you please choose three consonants and a vowel? Trendy millennial bullcrap. Um, let's take the H. Oof. And the B. I'll take the D. I was pretty sure you were going to get that one. All right. I hope you're Something. ready. How's Only it? How's it going? To solve. <laughs> yeah. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> hey. All right. So a boutique tasting room is a wine tasting. It's just, it's just another. A fancy, a Karen way to say it. It's, yeah, it's a, a freaking. Affluent ass yacht club ish, dude. It's a freaking Zoomer term, dude. <laughs> that was all the time we have for this episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe. If you did that, hit the notification bell. It goes ding for Jonas. TNT. We uh, is out, BBB.